<clears throat> there we go. Uh, th there we go. Game capture being slow again. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be a smite, Lieutenant Drakir, at your service. <clears throat> and welcome back to the Hippie Doppity SMP <laughs> server. Where, yeah, I've been quite busy with this. Um, let's see. I, I think when we last uh, streamed, this was still all in construction. And even at that, it, I've been expanding on this place a hell of a lot. Like, I've got a bunch of storage over here. A bunch of storage here with these repositories, which are basically you know, double chests in the space of one. Uh, I've gotten into a bit of occultism here. Uh, th this guy here, it's uh, the name is randomized every time, but uh, this guy here will crush ore into uh, other things. And uh, yeah, I've gotten quite a few resources from just digging around everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's start off with a bit of a tour. Uh, this up here, this is Skyweave, which will well show... Uh, of course, they're trying. To, the book whims are trying to get closer to the chest they are bound to. No, that's over there now. Or not? Okay. There. Okay, I need to move these aside for a bit. Come on. Trying to get close enough to actually grab them. But no luck. Uh, oh well, I'll leave. <laughs> I'll leave a small hole there for the moment. Uh, yeah, over here we've got a storage lector, and this is connected to the three chests up above, which are well farming animals, plants, and gems. <clears throat> uh, in the middle here, through these uh, illusion blocks, we have a starbuncle who will well <laughs> sort all of the stuff that goes into these repositories. Which well, I just put a backpack on top. And well, whatever it whatever is already in any of these, because of these mimic scrolls, the <clears throat> the Starbuncle will put in that chest as well. <laughs> hey Marco, how are you doing today? Hello Marco. Of course there's a bunch of stuff that isn't sorted, so that I do need to pull out and place myself. So yeah. Storage system needs upgrading still. Uh, over here we've basically got the construction stuff. Uh, I figured out what you can do with Ars Artifice here. Basically, it allows you to make uh, trinkets that will have spells in them that will set off, uh, will go off depending on whatever you programmed them for. Uh, let me show you. At Artifice, we've got these gems, these the ring, amulet, and belt of spell storing. You can store a spell in each of these. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, Marco, uh, I'm okay playing some Persona 4 and editing what is this video I'm making. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you, right. can, you can set a spell, uh, you can set a condition on these uh, for them to go off. It's specifically, uh, let me see, I think I had been making one of these. I think I forgot or lost track of it. Uh, but yeah, basically you can inscribe a condition on these. These four specific ones specifically. Glyph of Falling, Anguish, Interval. I'm not too sure about that one yet. And Landing. So basically, if you take a certain amount of damage, if you fall a certain height, or when you land, it will trigger the spell. Like if you fell... At standard, the fall glyph of falling will trigger after five blocks of falling. Uh, that can be adjusted, as it says there. Ta -ta -ta. Dampen reduces the amount of block to fall before triggering. Uh, amplify increases it. But you take fall damage after three blocks of distance, so just putting two dampen on that should be good. But yeah, then you can program the trinkets with, uh, <clears throat> with a feather falling spell, for example. And then the, once you fall a certain distance, it'll automatically trigger. So I think <clears throat> with a new map or such, I'll probably trigger. I'll probably try that to uh, well try a different origin, so I don't have innate slow falling all the time. Uh, let me see. I 
I'm pretty sure I had threads on these, but where did I leave them? Yeah, I've been making some armor as well. Not in there. Bunch of armor here. Uh, all of these are for other equipment and gems here. Uh, Vanna still needs to be on for it to do that since, well, the gems and such is her stuff to do. Uh, got an enchanting uh, yes, spot set up. Got an intruder. And, yes, I decorated the place with spirit fire, which is from occultism, which, well, doesn't hurt you. And just to make it extra clear, because this ring grants fire immunity. Very <laughs> useful, of course. There we go. No damage. <laughs> and hey there in chat, Shaskor. How are you doing today? Hello, Shaskor. Uh, uh, still yet more to sort out from all of this, because yesterday... I went on a, a dungeon exploring with uh, Tatum, <coughs> Sensei, and Kelly. And yeah, basically that filled up a bunch of my backpacks. And let's see, these two are empty. These all all not <laughs> empty. <laughs> so yeah. Let's see, Shasko, it's too warm and I'm dying. How's the Archmage? Yeah, it's hot as hell over here as well. Not as hot as it could be, probably. But my fan is for keeping me alive at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cool over here at the moment. Uh, let's see. Bring me my mirror of yeet. And yeah, up here we have different levels for everything. I still have to put in the floor on most of these. But yeah, that will come at some point. Up top we have uh, a woolly sprig who is doing work on all of these trees. And this needs to be emptied out. Um, let me just grab the logs because I'm planning to do something with those sooner or later anyways for decoration. Uh, I can cut down the bamboo by a lot because we do not need that much bamboo. And yeah, I put a glass dome over everything, which was a bit of a pain in the ass, but more with the amount of time it took to place all of them. And well... The spell book here turned out to be really useful uh, with that. Especially the exchange glyph here. When used on blocks, and exchanges the blocks in the player's hotbar with the block uh, for the blocks hit as if they were mined with silk touch. Can be augmented. Basically, whatever you have over here will get swapped with whatever you're hitting. It can be uh, changed with uh, to hit deeper and a bigger area. And I plan to use that as well with decorating the towers outside a bit more. One floor down, we have the Drigme farm over here. Uh, what they do is that they harvest stuff from animals without actually harming or killing them. And, well, as you can see, it's given quite a bit already. <laughs> it even gets their freaking heads. <clears throat> One floor down. We have the Amethyst Golems, of which I've made a bunch more to try and speed up their work. It seems that they don't actually go outside from their home that far. I thought they were supposed to, well, spread, do more than just the closest amount of these. But, yeah, they haven't changed any of the other Amethyst blocks here. And one thing I've noticed is if these stick on, if these stay on here for too long, they turn into the Star Wars Equestrian clusters, which they can't harvest. So every now and then I have to get in here and clear those out. Or maybe probably best if I just remove most of them so they get yeah, so they harvest them a lot quicker. Let's get to that, actually. Break. Let's get rid of the tops of each of these. It kind of looks good with them uh, this tall. It's just a bloody crystal forest. Yeah, it's just too bad that we don't have a use for these. Like Tatum and such have a use for them. Uh, but they're so easy to get that I don't think it's really worth it to uh, specifically try to farm for them. <clears throat> and down here we have the source farm, which, well... <laughs> all of these source berries get put onto pedestals here. Which are then, well, converted into source by the mycelial source links down here. We've got a bunch of uh, <laughs> Starbuncles feeding these things. And yeah, they get 
put in the source jars and then these send it over here to this splitter relay which then send, which then feeds the uh, the farms up top and also of course we've got a hopper feeding the gems that they or the <clears throat> the amethyst shards that the golems grab they get turned into source gems and then this wixie turns them into source blocks But yeah, I'll need to look if there is some way to prevent the Amethyst from turning into the uh, Star Worm versions. Okay, what was that noise? It sounded like a scratching. And here's the Whirly Sprig, okay. I could put more, I could put down more Drigmies and Whirly Sprigs, but I think uh, the production at the moment is already good enough. Marco, so many little crystal babies. <laughs> yeah, there's eight of them to be exact. And there's Shaskor joining in game. <laughs> okay. And yeah, down here. I've also figured out that these things, I thought you had to have these at 3x3 three three to be able to put in 3x3 three three recipes, but no, you can put in nine different ones. So yeah, that's that's helping a lot with finding, or with just quickly crafting things that I need a lot of. Uh, these awakening ta tablets are mostly for getting more bookworms. Because... The, the, because it what? Read the shots. Let's see. Shaskor approaching you like an immortal snail. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I remember that. So, like, you get... Uh, one million a year, but you, you're, you're chased by a snail, and if the snail touches you, you die or something like that. Yeah. Or it, it, I think mother, there's also a variation of, uh, I think it's many variation. Like you're immortal, except the only thing that can kill you is a snail. Yeah. It's also and immortal. The, and the answer, easy answer would be just put it in a, put it in a safe. And dump that at the bottom of the ocean. There's no way it can eat through that. Okay. Uh, yeah, some other stuff. We've got a bunch of hats around here to make any TF2 player jealous. Uh, just random blocks that I've picked up and such and don't have enough of to really put in enough specific storage for them. Uh, this Starbuncle is just picking all sorts of uh, blocks that are in any of these and putting them in them. So it looks like the gravel one is full because he isn't actually uh, filling those anymore. Also, just for a little bit of space, turn these into the bigger ones. Oh, I think, yeah, I think, see, like, I thought it was something about the motor snail that uh, is a flaw, has a flaw to your plan. Let's see, can eat through any material you trap it in. Okay, but it it would still be at the bottom of the ocean. It would take it quite a long time to get out of there. Yeah. But it's better than dying. Uh, yeah, I've also upgraded my gear quite a bit. Also, this here is because of this, the wardrobe. Uh, yeah, these are basically just... <clears throat> these are basically... Uh, yeah, cosmetics that override the rest. Actually, where did I leave this one? Okay. Uh, there. Put that on. You can have three different ones for each of these. And, yeah, you get these from... Let me see. There's one over here at spawn. I think we showed this last time as well. It's with these global skin libraries and the skin library creative. Well, yeah, you did, I think. And yeah, we <laughs> Tatum and such have started putting down these share stones to uh, well allow for getting around without needing to find the portals first and such. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Over here, Vanna has set up at the moment. It's not much yet. Uh, uh, it's a start. Yeah, that's a bunch of sugar gliders in here. Okay, and yeah, I, I put down a bit of a provisional portal. It's not too in the way, so they can just build around it. Uh, hello. Why are you here? Hill? Think about it. 
you put a teleport to a hole in the ground next to a house. Okay, so I guess these can just move through them as well. Anyways, we have the guild hall. We have the guild hall here with portals to everyone: Sensei, Vanna, Kamet and Tatum, to the Nether, to my place. Uh, Shaskor, I still need a portal for because I don't actually know where they live at the moment. And the strongholds. Yeah, and hello, Tatum and Dabby. What? Yeah, uh, this here, this, this straw statue. Yeah. This <laughs> is that is sensei dabbing. <laughs> uh, hey Tatum, how are you doing today? Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah. This is a bit yeah, this is the uh, guild vault and well the guild store as well. Where you can just trade in guild tokens for stuff and well. I've gotten quite a few from all the stuff I've been doing, setting up the portals and adventuring. Oh dear. And yeah, I also put up a bit of an improv advertising board here to, well, advertise what I can actually do. There's also this uh, bounty board where, we're, where we can put up bounties and such, or quests. Um, let's head back here for the moment. Hmm. I might need to remove the carpet here because it keeps spawning me in there. And yeah, beyond that, I've started a portal room of my own down here. Uh. <laughs> Hello? Um... <laughs> what the heck? Like, this is like whack-a-mole. Come on, stick your head up. Anyway, I've got a bunch of portals set up to Wilden Dens, to Guardian, Stalker. We already have the Hunters over there. Then we also have an Ocean Monument that I found. And some others to, uh, to be. Like Ritual Sites, Train Station, Mob Grinder. Uh, I've also set up, going to set up a few here just for where, what depth uh, certain materials are at. And... Also, this is just a bit of improv at the moment. We're just getting around. Oh, hello there. Hey, Shaskor. Uh, let me... Hello there! This one too, I can be heard in game, right? <laughs> okay, what are those for? Uh, I don't think they want to make... You know what? They, Josh is gonna need to learn the hard way what we accidentally have in the basement. <laughs> what a cool party, really. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, the, the tower is a bit inaccessible from the ground at the moment. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got a, just a flow of lava to act as a light source. This I've sealed off at the moment. Oh, gee, I didn't notice. <laughs> well, you could block your way up there, or you could buy one of my magic mirrors to let you fly. <laughs> uh, let me actually build up a quick entrance. Uh, uh... You, you don't even have a regular door into the tower yet, uh, do you? Nope. Okay. There. And yeah, all of the dirt around here, that's basically prep work for, well, expanding the base of the tower. Yeah, the tower mm. needs a good, uh, a base that makes it uh, stand proper. Like, if you've seen a the rook, you probably get, uh, on a chest, you get the, the idea. Okay. I also plan to thicken the walls out by at least one layer to make some uh, detail work and such, to make it, well, not just a sheer face along the entire way up and down. Yeah, and uh, uh, I probably should say this, but I'm pretty sure someone will notice once we take a proper look from uh, the distance uh, of... Uh, yeah, we take a look at... Of, uh, in, of, uh, that, uh, my English. Looks a bit like one of those old-timey robots at the moment. <laughs> 
I would say I think Helen has been slowly becoming the Dutch version of Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, down in this level, we have a bit of a mob, not really mob grinder yet, but mob spawning spots. And I'd rather uh, not want them dropping in on the next level down. For uh, a moment. Here, I, I want to try something. Yeah. It needs you to get up again. Okay, uh, down here I plan to do uh, put down the uh, occultism uh, rituals and such. Uh, down here will be the train station, for which this entire thing has been uh, dug and built all the way over to spawn. Bloody heck. And then we just have uh, mine shafts at different levels. Okay. And back up. Okay, uh, what level did you, did you need me to be at the... Uh, go, go to the snowmen. The snow golems. <laughs> Shaskor made his way inside from the sounds of it. Okay, push them down the hole. Yep, yep, sorry. <laughs> I keep making stupid mistakes like that. Okay. What about them in the hole? Uh, right, that they will attack mom, uh, monsters and such? Oh, there's something else there might be interested in them. Oh, uh, right. Don't say it. I want, you better see it. For it might be good for pranks. We might be a bit. E e e uh, they attack the donkeys. I did not Apparently. expect that. All right, they excite the spider. Okay. Let's see if we can. Can we make them fall down? Yep. <laughs> and immediately die to a spider. Yep, well, there they go. Oh, I went. Uh, well, I guess we get to test that another time. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me put those blocks back up. What the? To keep the spiders in. Uh. Okay, what died here to drop two scrolls? Not that I'll complain once I can pick those up. Put okay, all of this did away. something drop them or someone? Yep. Uh, hello, Shazgor. <laughs> okay. Okay, you dropped them perfectly without dying. <laughs> Let's have a look what these are. Acid spits and dragon's breath. Okay. <laughs> oh, good gods. Sasuke, why? <laughs> there. Get rid of that. Yeah, uh, you know I built uh, a stairway over that way, right? Or are you just curious about this specific room? Also, yes, I'm hearing the music you put up. <laughs> you going to remix now? Yep, and there's Tatum. Yeah, I, I know that track. We found it as well. Creepy. Uh, oh, let me see. I'm putting it the machine, so be right back. So, okay. test score, make sure the captain doesn't die, all right? Yeah, it's more likely that they'll die from doing something dumb here. <laughs> like falling down, the <laughs> falling down with the lava. Uh, but yeah, I basically started clearing out the place here as well a bit to make room for well, the rest of the tower. Uh, I haven't tried to kill you yet. I still have this sword that deals like 16 damage. And can still be upgraded further. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I put up a simple little thing here for working on the... the for turning crushed stuff that I find into, the, the, into nuggets and such. Data pack update means I only have six hearts. Okay. 
Yeah, that means 12 health, I believe, because each half is 1 HP. Uh, let me see. Yeah, copper dusts. These I can just turn into normal ones. Oh. Let's see, Genie Crusher. Summon spirit to crush ores into dust. Effect actively more than doubling this. Oh, more than doubling the output. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this one. Yeah, I think this one has a bit of a timer. That after a certain amount of time they will disappear. But that's plenty of time. One of those hearts is from my boots. Okay. But yeah, these should stick around plenty long enough for you to get the materials to summon a stronger version. Yeah, let me actually take a pick break look through this. Occultism is quite a, a thing here. Though I do want to look in, at some bits of it, like... Uh, ta -ta -ta, requires red entry more rituals. Uh, here. Uh, this is a very good uh, book with this. But yeah, I can I can get more familiars with this. Not too sure what some of them do. Let's see, we have a good dragon. Okay, provide increased experience. Love sticks. Needs to sacrifice a horse to make it. Okay. When upgraded by a blacksmith familiar, it will throw swords at nearby enemies. Okay. <laughs> Greedy familiars can ride on dragon familiars, giving the dragon the greedy effects. Okay. Uh, this is the greedy one. Picks up items, increased pickup range. So, like a magnet. Sacrifice a zombie. Uh, a foliot that will pick up nearby enemies. When upgraded by a blacksmith, it can find blocks for its master. Okay, where is this blacksmith one then? Headless rap man. <laughs> really? What the heck? Conditional damage buff. Format error. The headless rat man uh, familiar steals heads of mobs near the rat man when they are killed. It provides then provides a damage buff against that type of mob to their man. Okay, if the rat man drops below 50% health, it dies but can be rebuilt by their master by giving them wheat. Okay. And Tatum crashed. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Beholder, beaver, blacksmith. Repairs equipment while mining. Upgrades other familiars. Whenever the player picks up stone, there's a chance for the blacksmith familiar to repair their equipment a little bit. Can be upgraded, but upgrades other familiars. To upgrade other familiars, the blacksmith needs to be given iron ingots or blocks by right clicking it. Okay. A shop nigger at familiar. Uh oh. Spawn fall, small version of itself to fight for you. Cannot be summoned directly. Summon a Chimera familiar and feed in the golden apple to detach the goat. Okay. Chimera. Where's this Chimera? There. Rida rideable mount, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. When upgraded, the goat familiar will get it. Mm, the goat familiar yeah, will get a warning bell. When you hit the familiar, it will ring the bell and attract enemies in a large radius. Okay. Hmm. Trick wing, multi jump, jump boost, and slow falling. Okay. Subclass of genie that are known to be amical towards uh, humans. Cannot be upgraded. To obtain the parrot or parrot familiar for the sacrifice, consider summoning them using either the wild parrot ritual. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely look into this a bit more, but I also... Uh, let's see, where's the rituals? Yep, these these pentacles. These are what you use to do all of these rituals, and some of them can be quite big, as you can see with this one. Hence why you have an entire basement for it. Yeah. And just so I don't have to redraw the old ones each time. Okay. Well, yeah, that's why I have all of this space. I still need to dig out room for two more. And so probably do at the top and bottom here to keep it, well, spread evenly. Though that does mean that I'll have to thicken out the 
the yeah, the base of the tower quite a bit to be able to cover it. Or I well, just that's... dig down lower to uh, hide it lower down. Uh, we did speak about uh, making the base of it uh, thicker anyway. So it should be all right. There. Uh, let's see, beyond that, nothing too much that happened on this end, I think. I went exploring for some other places, most of which I have put down the portals for. So, out there, and there. Yep. <laughs> Rip call with Mallory, really. <laughs> Taking a moment. <clears throat> God. This one is still here. Okay, this is a temporary portal that I put up here, but apparently it's been unloaded for so long that the the timer has gone a bit wonky, I think. But Do you yeah, need this, to break it, maybe? This is the top of a, an ocean monument that I've mostly cleared out already. I'm actually considering just trying to empty the place out of water as well, just to see... If I could turn it into some sort of secondary base. <laughs> Up there it starts to break. There we go. Uh, this green stuff, uh, what's it called? This is prismarine. All right, and is that oxidized copper down there? Uh, yep. Okay. If we're talking about... Boop. Uh... Hello. <laughs> Giant squids. Careful now. What I should be. Oh, there we go. That's the. There's an elder guardian again. Uh, I was to say is, maybe we could uh, grab some of these. Uh, was it to make a uh, giant scones for the purple fire? I could maybe. I I thought these would mostly attack whales and such, since that's sort of a. A thing, whales versus squids or such. Yeah, in squids. Yeah, but you do know they yeah, in squids eat uh, other things, right? I, I think it is more yeah. self-defense when it comes to whales. Let's just try not to piss one of them off. But yeah, good spots to get uh, crystals and such to make our own prismarine. Do you have a? All oh, right. Uh... You probably need a tape for that, yeah, I just realized. For what, taming a squid? We, we do have a, quite a moat, so... Why not have a damn squid guarding the, around the tower in the water? <laughs> and there's Shaskor. <laughs> and yeah, I made this. <clears throat> Death's three on this gives me, well, permanent water breathing. Yeah, I, I I probably should set up some uh some I probably should have set up an actual staircase at some point to make it more friendly. It's big you know enough. Good luck good... getting back <laughs> to this the, one. The... Hilia is not gonna make a staircase. They're gonna make a, a fancy teleporter pad or something to be that fancy. Works. Yeah, that, that was the original idea, to use portals to go back up and down between the levels. <clears throat> uh, but I do know that there is also a little trick you can do with uh, slabs and such. To make, basically make spiral staircases. And um, that was off. It, it did not mean to break that one. Yeah, building is <laughs> almost crash face first into him. Okay. You should be careful, Captain. They have antlers. Yep. Good. Sorry, sorry. I keep fucking that up. Uh. Let's see. Where did I leave? There did I leave those, okay. But, yeah, 
we've seen these a few times in the, uh, the, the towers and such. So, it's there, there. Okay, not there. Didn't know there was in the towers were made of slabs. There. Let's actually swap these. <laughs> Maybe. I do basically beeline for making a mirror like this every time I play uh, yeah, play uh, anything with Ars Nouveau in it. Well, I did offer to make everyone mirrors like this as well. There we go. Uh, maybe one of... There we go. Actually... I may as well continue this upwards. Okay, you're actually making a... Uh... Yeah, you're very much making a uh, fire escape uh, ladder now, aren't you? Well, with the, the sky blocks, chance score. Actually, let me pick this up. Right. I think the server is glitching or something. This is supposed to break easily. Or right, maybe I was doing it wrong. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and because we're also spread around, I'm pretty sure. Come on, there. There we go. That's the hole again. Uh, yeah, these these bookworms are connected to this lectern here. Uh, oh wait, did they did that disconnect them? I think it did. I, I, gonna, I can still access them. I'm gonna check my food hmm. and go to the bathroom. Okay. I have to make sure Shaskul doesn't die. <laughs> okay, they are still connected. It's just a bit of a. Oop. Okay, why are you trying to move that upwards there? Oh, wait. Oh, right. It's trying to put them back into the uh, box. Uh, Shaskor <laughs> telling you not to die in the tower as you try to move around in some place that is very much not meant for non-flyers. <clears throat> not there. Let's see. Another minute or so will be invulnerable again. Okay, what are you, what are you plotting then? <laughs> the Dan Bull song. Okay. You don't need to go through the entire song. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, don't really have much planned for today with the stream. I don't want to spend all of it just building stuff and such. <laughs> Big Denbull recognizer already skipped the line. <laughs> Uh, Almost back, but I can recommend the uh, Probably Some Adventures. 
Yeah, we can uh, we can explore the nether some more, I guess. I found a fortress. Uh, put a portal there already. Um, I, I think I still need some ender eyes and such, so we could hunt for endermen. They spawn most. They they spawn the most in warped forests and such. Uh, I see. Uh, remind me, is Saskur the uh, engineer, so to speak? Uh, alchemist, if I recall correctly. Alchemist. All right. Uh, Brewmaster, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. No. I was thinking of a funny nickname for that, but I realized, no, that's that's kind of mean to call them Sasko the Red Nosed Reindeer, but that will probably hint at something else. Because of the horns. And, well, Red Nose is also being associated with something else. Yeah. And I don't even know if they drink alcohol to begin with, so not the best nickname. Back to the drawing board. And be right back. Okay. I'll put these in temporarily. <laughs> yeah. But Drakir is without is out of striking range for you at least. <laughs> okay. What what are these doing here? Okay. Uh, wait, was that exactly enough blocks to actually go back and forth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm thinking about putting up some beacons here and there. Once most things are done, just mostly for just the light show. And there is actually one thing I can think of that we could do for certain. There and there. <laughs> yes, it's, <laughs> it, it, it's a dangerous tower, yeah. Okay, there's Tatum again. Uh, let me see, where did I leave them? Also, I should remove these from my inventory. Uh, actually, not these. Not that either. Okay. Uh, where did I put them? Because I know I have some Wither Skulls around. And, well, we could summon the Wither to fight. Question is just where did I store them? I probably just threw them into one of my many bags without realizing it. Probably should upgrade all of these to gold. And diamond as well. Uh, that's Enderman heads, not Ender or Wither Skull heads. There's something nice I discovered about these though. You just put them here. And yeah, they'll react if you look at them. And they give a redstone signal. So you could use these in uh, some sort of contraptions to have them <laughs> activated on, to have things activated remotely. And I'm back. Uh, wait, is it is it actually growing? It's giving a stronger signal the longer you look at it. Okay. Um. But yeah, remote switches with Enderman heads. <laughs> I'm just glad it doesn't do that weird sound. And also, don't I have a somewhat of a physical form in the game, Captain? Yeah, give me a sec on that. Familiars, bookworm. Yeah, yeah, that noise. Oh dear. Um, the brew monster is um, having a screaming contest with Enderman. Uh, yeah, let me look again. Where did I put those heads? Yeah, this is the problem with just finding all this stuff. 
I just end up with uh, not enough space to keep all of it. And I'm pretty sure I've upgraded these to the maximum that they can have already. So I guess I just have to get rid of all of this. No, actually, no, it's been it's been clogged up with all of this. So just pull some of this out. Mm -hmm. Now, not all of them have been upgraded. I'm mostly talking about the big three here. Like, <clears throat> deep slate, dirt, and cobble. So how do you check how, what upgrades they have on them? Five more upgrades. Okay. Yep, no, putting that away. Shift right click, but not so close as picking. Okay. Yeah, that's not doing anything to me. Prop maybe because I need an empty hand. Yeah, yeah, it's crouch. Yeah, I've I've got crouch put on control. Okay. So, oh, I, okay. So it is probably because this this has gotten clogged up with other stuff. So yeah, there there probably is more for like a a million more dirt in there. That's coarse dirt, so of course that's not going to get sorted because there's nothing with that at the moment. Uh, let's just put. This stuff in here at the moment, we'll see what the Starbuncle sorts out and what they don't. Let's see, Diamond Helmet with some protection. And yes, this Starbuncle is called Stonks. There are certain Starbuncles that have been adopted by, I presume, like Patreon or donators and such. And they just have names uh, automatically, like Snowflake over here. And this one over here, Snow Flame, that's the one just I renamed and died. <laughs> okay, yeah. They're putting all of that away. Okay, so all of the rest of this I need to sort myself. And I need to upgrade the gravel box. There. And, yeah, whilst in the dungeon, uh, we found a hell of a lot of enchanted books, so I'll probably need to make an entire wall just for that as well. And, you mean a library? Yeah. Speaking of libraries, I'm thinking whenever we start a new thing or something, I'll probably turn it in, I'll probably go for more of a library uh, build with my, <laughs> with my place. Because... This just looks nice like this. Plus, it's just massive storage and such. Ooh, and yes, yeah, those are is... illusion blocks. <laughs> They're false weave, to be exact. Uh, uh, having fun, though? Uh, having fun over the Saskor? <laughs> the fun thing with false weave is that you can also put them in the floor. So watch where you step. I probably do. I probably will make a. Like a uh, obstacle course at some point or another. <laughs> right, in the floor or in the walls? Or both? <laughs> and yeah, I also picked up a hell of a lot of these freaking spawners. Three quarters between... <laughs> okay, yeah, that... Actually, yeah, I I probably should hit. I probably should hide the entrance to the tower behind a false weave a wall like that. <laughs> uh, because as much as the as much as the original writer for Harry Potter has proven herself to be an absolute bitch, the just the franchise in general is still enjoyable. I'd say, and well, I grew up with it, so I do have a certain bias towards it. Also, uh, where did I put my book? <laughs> okay, I, 
I must have put away my spell book somewhere. Yeah, separate the artist from the arts. Yeah, I heard this a bit more complicated. Like, most of her issues seem to be more trauma related due to being oh, abused. Wait, what? Yeah, I found my book. Yeah. But yeah. It... <clears throat> but yeah, apparently the trauma. Yeah, it's, it's a situation of uh, instead of helping uh, the author through the trauma she's been through, some people just ended up. Be a bit unnecessarily aggressive and uh, just make the trauma worse. And I've heard mixed things on that. Like some cases, uh, that it might actually be have been that she, there wasn't any abuse happening or something. But uh, oh. yeah, that's all for people with a lot more background in investigative stuff to check out and such. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All of these are for making essences for different spells and materials. Uh, oh, really? Right. Yeah, I haven't really been uh, keeping track of uh, the whole uh, Harry Potter thing, especially not with offers, and I, I actually just try to avoid videos like that nowadays. For I really feel like I get the full story to begin with, so... Yes. Come on. Okay, apparently these doors here are staying. And for people wondering how with me and Harry Potter... I don't hate Harry Potter. I just not... I just not really interested in it. Uh, that's uh, basically it. Okay. Did the stream die? Uh, on my end, it still says it's streaming. It does say live. Odd. Let's see, you got stuck buffering for a while. Okay. Not sure if that may be on your end or my end. I'm saying... On my end, it's saying zero missed frames due to either rendering lag or encoding lag. So I think it might have been on your end for a bit. Uh, okay, yeah. I can hear you twice again. Uh, you could mute me or uh, in game or deaf. And then again, uh, someone teleporting in. A mass. I mean, it's a Tatum. <laughs> hey there. Oh, hello. Oh, cute wings. And yes, I made the place a bit more accessible for the non wing species. <laughs> okay. Um Let me let me just grab a pickaxe quickly. And up there. Wait, don't I have any diamond pickaxes around? Okay, who's casting spells? Not me. <laughs> okay, that, that sounded like a necromancer casting Ray's dead. Why do you have Herobrine in a hole? <laughs> uh, I'm not because casting so spells, I just kidnapped her here. <laughs> Come back here, you. Wait, what? Captain, help! Uh, I need the space in my inventory to even be able to pick them up. There. Captain! <laughs> Get back here. Help! I'm being killed on my potato! Ah! <laughs> ah! You know what will help here, probably? Uh, that. That. And then, where is it? There. And... and where's the other one? At the next page. I've made a lot more of these glyphs as well. There. Then you need to, to practice target practice and more. 
Give me a sec, I'm chasing the potato. Can't... Can I... Please, my... touch spell now. Please! I'm getting sick! Okay, can I not affect other players with these spells or something? I'm pretty Probably sure not. you have before. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I dropped him! I'm free! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you put them in here whilst they were snared and unable to jump. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, that's mean. Uh, I, uh, I hit... Uh, well... Where is Sarah, Brian? Uh, maybe you can see them if you put on a pumpkin head around here. All I'm seeing is zombies, spiders, a mule. But yeah, welcome to the moth pit. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, then he wasn't that tough after all, apparently, with, with how much uh, people dislike him up to be like the devil. <laughs> Jade wouldn't tell me what he was at all. Okay. And yeah, now in case of a pesky little fairy flying around, I can just cast this gravity spell on them. <laughs> uh, let me see. Where is my... Where is my mirror? I must have put it away again. It... <laughs> Okay, I need to raise the the ceiling here a bit. Um, get those back out. Ah, there's my mirror. Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to put a ladder or, or such in here because of well obvious reasons. Maybe in a sealed off area. So with all the spawners I have, I could make a real just danger grinding room. Uh, let's see. If I can find the Wither uh, Skulls, would you two be up for joining battling the Wither? Uh, let's see. Where did I leave Wither? the blast of things? Yeah, I I have enough skulls somewhere, so we could try killing it. I guess so. Up oh, here, I am. I found them. Okay, then we just need enough soul sand, I believe. Okay, uh, there's a portal at the guild hall to get you to uh, another portal that leads straight into a uh, fortress, Shaz. Uh, what was it again? I think it was soul sand that you need. Did I pick any of that up? Or I can just go get some. Uh, nether. Still need to reinforce. Okay. Yeah, you want to join in or sit it out? Hmm. Actually. Uh, no, that wouldn't work, I think. Let's see. Alright, this is the way I went for the warped forest. Just, I think that's... Yeah, right over there. That's where Endermen spawn the most. Okay. So, sand. Three, 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 break. Oh, we'll see. All of a sudden, the odd smelling has awoken nearby. Okay, apparently the apotheosis is going for alliteration with that one. Uh, where even are they? That way. Uh, okay, it's a zombie pigman. 
So that would piss off all the other ones nearby, but then again... I can basically instant kill these. There we go. And they dropped a pickaxe. Efficiency 4, Fortune 2. But it's a gold pickaxe. Hmm. Maybe good for tearing it apart for materials. Uh, I think we lost... Yeah, I think we lost uh, Tatum. Uh, they were about here. Okay. Where did you go? Out there. Uh, south and this way. A uh, bastion. Yep. There's still a box here I haven't looked at. Oh, gold blocks. I'll take those. Um, there's... I'll take those. Even if just for uh, trading. You need help, Tatum? I just went into lava. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Bunch of equestrian stuff in this one. Whee! Yeah, I'll put it in the mailbox later. Oh. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> I see you made a bone serpent. My mind uh, yeah. is peaking. I don't know why. Okay. Um, see any other boxes hidden around here? <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. I should probably mission Sensei to make me a bunch of crushing wheels at one point. Just so I can get materials out of other things and such. But for the most part, I think with the occultism, uh, gin and such, should be enough for, well, materials that I need and such. Especially since they can just quadruple at some levels, I think. Let me check. Uh, let's see. Spirits. On spirits, still need to read some parts of these. Uh, let me see. Uh, Foliot can be used for summoning... Crusher, Crusher Spirits, okay. Uh, crush one ore into two dusts, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Try summoning a Transporter Spirit to place, yeah, but a, <laughs> a Star Bunker will do just as well. Um, wait, are there only, only those, or are there more like that? Up uh, no. Ginny Crusher, Afrit Crusher, and Marid Crusher. One ore into six dusts. Okay, that would be quite the upgrade. Block of Ism Isen Isenium? I'm guessing, okay. Hmm. Isenium is an other world material, I believe. Uh oh. Uh, let's see, divination rods. Let's see. Netherrack is Neem Ore. Okay. And I believe these can only be found when you are under the effect of the third eye, which you get by eating a Demon's Dream fruit or by making a pair of goggles. The goggles I haven't made yet. Let's see. Sebastian is oddly empty of pigs. Hmm. Maybe we move too fast for them to spawn in or such, because I do believe there is a radius among the player that the creatures can spawn in. I've never seen... Okay. Yeah, pig lens, you know what I mean with it. Oh, here's one. Who is waving very enthusiastically. <laughs> Uh, 
That or very pissed. Yeah, we interrupted them as they were playing with their sausage. Uh. <laughs> Oops, summon horse scroll. Hidden the depths. Oh, oh, ancient debris. Okay. All right. Um, pay the move like that one. Oh, she's there. Let me see. Oh, a lot of golden carrots. Fortune two axe. Let's see. Protection shred. Okay. Yeah, that is one thing that's going to be annoying with Apotheosis bosses at some point, is that they'll just get massive amounts of armor. So having something that could break through that would be, well, really good, of course. Let's see. Are you sure I'm sorry? It... Can we be golden stairs? Mm, you actually can raw gold <laughs> okay from well, raw gold bricks well I guess we found our scones for our pepper fire and you get those from <laughs> okay that is a lot of gold uh, don't we find gold very rod easily yeah, but it's raw gold, so we need to dig that out. Uh, we can't make it, I be Actually, can you make raw gold? Uh, let's see, raw gold. Okay, at least you can turn it back into those, it seems. Let's see, raw gold bricks. Okay, it is a one-to-one. -one. Hmm. But once they are made into stairs... That's irreversible, I presume. Hmm. So it, it would be a it would be a flex, but it would be a very expensive one. Hmm. Anything else gold of interest in here? Let's see. Let's see. Ice Neum Ore, found in the nether, only visible when the status third eye is active. Okay. Hmm. Could get that with the dimensional mine shaft, but that is a late game occultism, I believe. Hmm. I should probably go do the ritual to make the goggles for this then. And. What have we here? Nothing. Oh, one of these. Straddlers. And, yeah, what they do is they... Well, they're a catapult. <laughs> that shoots the offspring at us. More slingshot. Yeah, let's see. The blazes are this way. We might need to escort him out of this because it's not too obvious where the entrance to all of this is. Uh, yeah, let's see. oh god, uh, Tatum, where are you? Hmm. Let's see, the blaze spawner is over there, the fortress is <clears throat> there. Back there, they own the map. Okay. Can just break a path through. Let me put those somewhere safe. Break up, just break up them. off, they say. And it's instantly the dude that they make lava leak out. Let's see. Gold. Hmm. Am 
high above it. Or, uh, there we go. Okay, that's a path. Okay. Leave a trail of breadcrumbs. Okay, there we go. Now to find Tatum and, well, <laughs> escort them out if they haven't already found a way out. It's Enderman. Where they were. Inland? Inland and Nether, oh, that's very helpful. I saw them up earlier. Yeah, okay, they already found a way back. Oh, well. At least this is an easier way to get back and forth between the places. If you're a flyer. Yep. Everyone else, uh, well, good luck. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got the soul, st uh, not soul stone, soul sands, the skulls. Now we just need to find a place we don't mind blowing up in the fight. Then again, we could just find them at the bottom of the worlds, where they won't have their room to maneuver. Oh, and well, oop, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello there! Let's see, where did I put the soul sands? It, there? It, yeah. Don't spawn it in the guild hall, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> but you spawn it in the guild hall? <laughs> No! No! <laughs> no! Okay. Uh, we could find, find it underneath here. I could just dig a tunnel straight down to bedrock. Or... We, <laughs> are they both just hiding? Why don't I have a portal when I'm... Oh. I didn't know where you were yet, so... Uh, do I have... Yeah, I can at least get a... Marked. Let's see. Now, I've not been this direction yet. I see bald eagles. I see bees. Oh, hello. Is that a special? That's a special, I think. Not this one. This one. Okay. Uh... Good thing that I have at least some gold on me still. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at you. Nemo, adapted by Tuna Tuesday. Please help me find my family. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see, there's Shaskor. Ah, right. You said something about the swamp being where your base was. Oh, right. I recall that. Um, is the base still standing? Oh, so did you find Shrek yet? Uh... <laughs> oh, dear. Even I am aware of that meme. Okay. Bunch of catfish all around the place here. <laughs> well, there are plenty <laughs> of donkeys around. Mm -hmm. There's a Tatum flying after us. Hi. Hello. So this is where they make all those Tinder accounts. What? Because catfish, when you... <laughs> people getting catfished on dating sites and oh, such. Oh. Tatum, I will bonk the captain and you can uh, bonk him in-game. Does that sound good? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Apothecarist, okay. 
Uh, any spot you would want the, the portal to be? It's typically 5x5, five five, so Pika doesn't have to duck down. Or I can make a 1x1 a one one vertically. Uh, what block was that? I've got Blackstone, I've got Soul Did Sand. It go your... Did it go into your backpack? Uh, yeah, it might have. It... I've got one that automatically plucks up dirt and such. Oh. There. Guess it just picked it up again. You need to turn off the magnet upgrade. There. It, this really helps with just cleaning out my inventory of all the dirt and stuff. Cozy little place. Yeah, very cozy. Also, Shiba. Okay, so. That thing is uh, alive, all right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Watch the video. The, the house looks so cool. Let's see. I could put it in the wall here. Just need to dig out an area. So you mean that you hide a portal in a cave? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let me see. One, two, three. Yeah, make sure it really looks like a cave now uh, afterwards, uh, Captain. Okay, let me put this back on. There. Okay. Um, let me put these away again. There. What's Tatum giggling about? Probably about you having to repair what you did. <laughs> Perfect for that. Uh, who has the per uh, 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 a permit for being so cute? I don't need a permit for that because I'm not. Or excavating. All right, that. that was aimed yeah. at you, Captain. There's a lot of storage. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I could just put it in the middle here. Uh, I think there's something stuck in the log. Was it a rabbit? Uh, oh, it's... Uh, it's Tatum. It's, it, it is Tatum! <laughs> Captain! <laughs> well, I guess they well, have a new home now. Well, yeah, I could Help. put the portal here. Help. Well, Tatum, consider it karma for trying to kidnap me earlier. <laughs> okay, where would you like the portal then? Help. Permission. There, you're free! Okay, you want to over about the apothecary? Okay. So about here. All right. Mm -hmm. Bang. Okay. I don't have the sore stone on me at the moment, I think. Oh, actually, I do. Okay. Uh, also, the source jars, yes. 
Okay, uh, just need to make a portal scroll for here. Yeah. No, that, also, for people wondering about the resistance and fortifi you know, fortified, that's from slaying a dungeon boss, Why? I think. Uh, what happened? Yep. <laughs> Pika got, not Pika, Tatum got put in cute jail. I got or... put with the chickens. With the chickens! Uh, let's see. Uh, Warp scroll. Uh oh. There. Potato or chicken. <laughs> or chicken with potato. Do, ain't that usually. Wait, I just want to think. Oh, wait, yeah, no, 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 you can. You, you, the chicken potato is a thing. No. <laughs> but so is it also chicken and fries. Let's see, where is. Okay, that's one of the scrolls. Okay, mark this place. Boing, boing, and boing. And there we go. <laughs> I'll heal the potato field. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the portals back and forth are set up. <clears throat> you could even block off the back of this. I feel like we can decorate it. Let's see. We have to do a quick Actually, restart of the server. Okay. Something lagging, or are we just causing too much chaos? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's head back to the tower then. Iliad. Hmm? Ah, I see a Tatum on the map. <laughs> I am part um... of the potato field. <laughs> Tatum's been planted. The potatoes. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Spell storing. That's my digging wand. Yeah, uh, let's. Oh. Right. Keep that. There we go. Let's like put that back. Yeah, potato needs Why? to be washed. No! The, the, don't wash them in swamp water! <laughs> but yeah, where we can... <clears throat> catfish cave? Oh, okay. catfish cave. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Uh, water breathing. I've got a shirt for that. Uh. Holy! Yeah, there they are. Okay, then it's a lot of catfish. <laughs> Catfish, squids. Uh, They're big too. Yeah, yeah I actually worried they may try to eat Tatum. Let's see. Wasn't one of these? No, I don't have a cliff of water breeding. Hey. Okay, give me a sec to get out of here. Okay. I'll log out then for the moment and 
yeah, shouldn't take too long. And yeah, then we can find a spot to fight the wither. Go. Yay! Uh, Marcos identified a bot. I may as well check that in the meantime. Uh, let's see. I probably sh hmm, maybe I should have this open on the side during stuff. Uh, let's see. Shrink this down a bit so I can actually see the tab. Twitch insights. Let's see. Chatty. Oh yeah, that, that is that is very much a bot name. And yeah, confirmed bots. Slash paste. Or slash ban. There. Yep, wait, wait, that. Slash ban paste. Bots. Uh, why did Oh, is this one of those cases where they just hide a massive amount of spaces behind them or something? Plan span, paste. There. Rid of them. Okay. Now, let's see. So it's going to be down for a minute or two. Uh, let me think. <clears throat> um, hmm. Uh, yeah, a bit, bit of plans for the, the streaming at the moment. For the main week, we'll try to keep going with two, uh, with two times uh, or two streams of three hours about each. Uh, and yeah, Saturday we're probably going to make also more for longer games since we're doing four hours with that, which means that with shorter games we're going through them really freaking fast, like one or two streams. So, yeah. yeah, we'll probably put some longer games on there, with possibly the first one being Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. This is a damn good game, and we can eat... Due to be streaming for a long time, means we can have easy time off-screen grinding. It's rather easy. Yeah. This gives us enough time to just go through the story during those dreams. Hmm. It will probably mean that at some point we'll probably just completely break through uh, or completely beat down fights and such that are supposed to be tougher. But yeah, that, I'd say that since the game doesn't really show you enemy levels and such, it makes it a real gamble of like how strong your Digimon need to be to get through places. Maybe there's a mod or something for that. I'll, I can actually look that up right now. <laughs> I, I never really had an issue with that. Then again, I usually grind before continuing. Mm -hmm. Do I always play on easy, so there's that as well. Yeah. Let's see, the Digimon games do tend to be grindy. And there is indeed a mod scene, of course. Uh, let's see, popular, all time. View all. Is it on let's Steam? See. No, these are Nexus mods. Oh. Uh, seems that the scene has been inactive for a while. Most of these are 2022, 20, 23. Uh, customizations. Uh, battle themes. Uh, oh, there's actually a. There's only like, let's see, eight mods here for it. Okay, and most of these are just. Uh, yeah, not much. Just adding in the customization bits and such. Okay, no quality of life stuff. Oh well. <clears throat> Wait, I'll, I'll probably look at guides then, what the recommended levels are. But uh, before I, I, we I start probably... with that, I will look. I will make a list of Digimon that I want to make by the end or have by the end of the game, and just look through how to get those and such. Yeah, here's the thing. You go up and down the form so much that the levels may not be too important since you have will be given them quite a lot of stat boost from uh, yeah, just... evolving and evolving so many times. Hmm. So yeah, technically a level 1 Digimon can be stronger than a level 91 if they have been trained up enough. Uh, for that to happen, you would... Yeah, the, technically. 
<clears throat> only if they are a mega variant. Mm -hmm. Since uh, every time you evolve them, they go back to level one. So there's a level one champion, level one ultimate, and like level one ultimate gonna still be ex much stronger than level one rookie. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Does this say anything about levels in areas? It doesn't. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's usually been a problem since. Again, I usually just by habit level up a Digimon, then continue the story. Feel like, all right, this is good enough. Yeah, I'd again, rather want to. Yeah. I'd rather want to avoid cases where we just run into a brick wall midstream and such. Oh, I never done that actually. Hmm. So again, what difficulty you should do you usually play? I th it's more just concerned for the possibility because I do remember at some point, even on easy, where yeah, there were just uh, hurdles that needed to get over by grinding and leveling a bunch. Yeah, I know there's one side quest boss that's definite. No, oh, was that a side quest boss? I forgot whatever. That is, there is one I think I know which, which one you mean that is a bloody hurdle says you need a very quick Digimon to handle them. Less than a high level, just bloody damn quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I, I'm not really got to sorry, just that one and a side quest one I got to stuck on. No, right. that side quest one was very much at the end game to unlock the white Pail the white uh, Ipialdorm one Pal Moon. That's the name. It's probably the hardest one to unlock. So yeah. Let's see. Hello there in chat. Is Medic Vit uh, Vita? Uh, let me just let me get a better read on that. Uh yeah, it's Mick Vita. Hello there. How are you doing today? And yep. Server is back up. Okay, let me swap these back around. I probably should just make an entire set for specific things like combat, generalist, water exploration and such. Because at the moment I have the sorcerer's collar with uh, aqua affinity, which makes it easier to dig on the water. Even though, well, I have the book, so I don't really need to. Uh, let's see, doing fine. That's good to hear. Let's get here. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, this, this chance score is actually pretty close to the nether portal that I had. There's Tatum and Sensai. Oh. Let's see, Vita. Been following you for a long time, actually. Two years, yeah. <laughs> I know there wasn't the... Uh, uh, new message or first message or something, but uh, how have you been doing, Vita? <laughs> Hope you've been enjoying the streams. I would not be surprised if we have seen uh, the name pop up in our corner here. Could Long be. ago. Hmm. And again, there was a time that that thing didn't work for some reason. Okay, village. Let's see, has, has this one been stripped of its waypstone as well? There's Shaz. Let's see, Marco. That's double my time. I only followed them for one year. Are you two holding a contest to see who has been following longer? I do believe there's that... Yeah, that's uh, follow age thing. Two years, one day, 19 hours. Okay, almost on the year. What have we here? Ooh. This is not Ooh. part of a village, I think. This looks nice. Cake, bunch of foodstuffs. Where is this part of the village? It's right next to it. Then there's a raider camp next to it as well. Of course it is. There is, I mean. Uh, let's see. Any obvious spots there for a waystone to be? Who there? There, there. Uh, yeah. I was I was checking the minimap. He has uh, been scared. There. <clears throat> uh, let's see. This bunch of. Uh, all right. There's some. 
This API is decrepit and discontinued. Okay, let me check that. Uh, I probably should remove that thing uh, then. Let me remove this from top for a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Good and evil. I, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I need think to look uh, at the button and remove uh, that. That has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, let's see. Let me actually do that quickly. Green elements. There. Green elements. There. Uh, log in. Which. Okay. Let me actually remove these. There. There. Not that it will do much. Uh, let's see. Jasper Survey, I was reading NASA's evaluation of the proposal to flatten the entire solar system in single bits. But it, what? What? Uh, remind me later. Uh, where is the bot with this? Chat bot. Chat demands. Default. Spot. Yeah, let's turn follow age off with that since that's very clearly been bugged or something. Is there a save button somewhere? Not that I'm seeing. I'll look more at that later. For now, back to having the preview always on top. And here again. Okay. Well, we do Don't have Beyond Good and Evil on our YouTube channel. Uh, let's see. Is it a BG has a real long time ago? Uh, yeah, be yeah be <laughs> beyond good and evil. That was a that was a fun game to stream. Oh yeah, I w it, it, it's Helian's shadow, not mine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and also as you could say this, th I, our Lord of the Rings videos have been rather doing rather well uh, compared to our other videos normally do. Like over two hundred views. Uh, only on one of them, I think. On two of Not them, so. I think, actually. Except the first one. Okay. I'll need to check that in a sec, then. But with that, it seems... With the viewer counts on the YouTube videos, it seems a lot more random to me. Some yeah. It, it just depends on if the uh, algorithm decides, hmm, let's, uh, let's advise this to some people. Arrow Volley, Summon Horse, Ink, Goat Horn. Okay. Now, with these, there's always a fourth one hidden underneath. So, some more ink. Hello. The heck is this? Ooh. That's something you will need to ask uh, Tatum to help you tame. Uh, oh, it's one of these Zarp five birds. <laughs> this is more like an ice bird. Uh, do I have. Shark, dragon. Come here, you. Come here. You missed. I do believe I need to punch them with this to pick them up. Or was it crouch and punch? They do land, by the way. There we go. I just need to hit them. Also. There. Yep, terror birds. Actually, so let's terrorize the birds for a change. Wait. Hmm? Oh, you, you may yeah, not I... you may not be allowed to catch them so that, that way. Now, this is more for storing them for yeah. <laughs> For when Tatum can uh, tame them. It's because I kind of don't want to... <laughs> I don't know if we could find another one of these. Okay. Okay. Also, 
I think I was going. Yeah, I was going to bring this one the, yeah? with the dragon okay. to take them. Yeah, only, only they, they are allowed to catch them. Okay. Well, may as well bring this one over to Tatum then. Okay. Uh, Raystone was over here. Okay. Uh, you still at Shaskors or did you leave already there? And let's, let's see. see. Yes, Shaskor, not seeing Tatum. I'm going to read that here. Uh, uh, from Vita. And also found out you Vita. were Dutch, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay. Uh, wrong button. There. You'll probably like that one. Okay. Um, uh... Uh, let me check. Uh, VG is a long time. Yeah, I miss streamers that streamed VG and E. I do stream Beyond Good and Evil. And also find that, it, yeah. The sad thing with Beyond Good and Evil is that it is very likely that the sequel will never happen. Because, well, all of the. Oh, hello. All of the just developer hell and such. And the fact that. Uh, Michel Ancel, I believe, just left the studio and such. And uh, let's not forget Ubisoft. Yeah. At this uh, point, it feels like if they were to make one, they will ruin it somehow. Possibly. Let's see. Thinking of streaming at it again? Uh, maybe we could do it a, a restream of it again. Uh... If there was a re-release or something, but there was a re-release once, but it was only on the Xbox or something. Hmm. Yeah, the there was an HD version, but that was console exclusive, I believe. So yeah. My team have been removed by that point since they have been removing games again. Yep. Even uh, you can't let me see. Call it, they will remove it. There is one coming the 20th anniversary. Okay. I would not be against uh, streaming that. Uh, here's the thing. I, I want us to stream Prince of, the new Prince of Persia and that anniversary uh, good and evil. But with how Ubisoft are? Yeah. Okay. If it's um, hard to do it, uh, do it with uh, out the feeling like there's a bad conscience about doing it, or that there might be a headache to try to get it to work because they do something stupid. Yeah. Um. Shall we make an arena for fighting the wither? I think I know where would be the good spots for it. Pardon. Yeah, place load in. Hello. Uh, let's see. I should have a portal. Yep, that goes down to bedrock here. Okay. Then I just need to get this one. Put some of that in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they stopped the crew and turned off the servers. Yeah. Oh, that's one of those turtles. Okay. Uh, there. I'll make things a bit easier. Uh, probably dig away from all of the lava above. Let's see. Yep. Good clear area this way. And yeah, this was where I originally wanted to put the uh, mob grinding and stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, oh, wait, I, th I think we misread. Uh, Vita meant that the 20th anniversary for Beyond Good and Evil is upcoming. Where, and that uh... would be a good uh, time to release an anniversary edition. I think that's how it actually is. Uh, Ubisoft also stopped the crew, the first one, because the game is too old and they stopped the servers. It was the only fun game I had to use a steering wheel with. Yeah, there, there's an ongoing thing to uh, 
yeah, stop companies from being able to do that with the raw scots from a Freeman's mind and such. And I do hope that that succeeds because, well, when you're getting sold a product with uh, planned obsolete, not, not really planned, but that they can just make inaccessible like that, it does feel like bullshit. And not only that, they just remove it from your library as well. Oop, diamonds. And not even only that, like, if you have the, a CD of those games, they will not, they, they will just not, it won't work. Yep. So yeah, you may own a CD that's suddenly worthless. Yeah, you, Ubisoft has been flooding stuff like uh, players suppo uh, you know, <laughs> them wanting players to go uh, grow more comfortable with not owning their games. To which everyone's reply has basically been, go fuck yourself. Yeah, you heard that them they try to do... Uh... Try to relate to the players, and they did so poorly. Keep those in my inventory. Actually, stick them in here. Okay. Grab all of this. Okay. Now, uh, yep. I was going to say before that runs out. There. There. Be safe, Vita. Good luck with the homework. Yep. Okay, see you next time, Vita. And the oh, freaking centipedes. I guess they can crawl through small holes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, did we lose Sasquar? Yeah, that's the self. Um, where's the heal spell? Where's the heal spell? Okay. Just need to cordon this off quickly. Oh, you do so little dumb! Okay, there we go. There is one thing that I'd want to look into at some point. So there is supposed to be a mod, not enough items, I believe, or part of, feature of it that shows that, that lets you show if and if mobs can spawn somewhere or not. And if that is installed, it's it the typical button for it is F7. But when I hit that with this, it doesn't do anything. go. Now we just gotta light this place up. What are those levitating blocks? Uh, these are arcane debris. Ooh. 
Let's see. For that, we need to amplify the spell twice before they can break, because they can only be broken with netherite. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Weren't we to bring the others for this? Yeah, I'm just putting down the body. Okay. Uh, let me see. Just to make sure... Uh... There, ready. I do believe I have two other widow skulls somewhere amongst just the clutter that is my inventory upstairs. <clears throat> Not be surprised. Let's see. Uh, Vida, big bull. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid the sensors. I don't think that's on this one. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah. I know there is a. I know the crew got a sequel, but I think uh, some people did not like it as much as the first. Like it has more features and such, but it doesn't have the same vibe or something. Yeah, sometimes you can make a game that have more feature and should, by all things, be better, but end up just missing the soul. Or the yeah. original, or something like that. And sometimes it, it can, uh, a secret can have a soul of its own, which you usually want. But if you're lacking... But yeah, if a game lacks any kind of a soul, metaphorically... Yeah, it's not gonna be enjoyable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, oh, because there's a beacon there. <laughs> Kind of forgot about that. Okay, any of yes. Okay. Let me see. Still need to find where the threads on this from this one went. Because I'm pretty sure I had warding for man for magic defense and something else. I forget what though. Hmm. Uh, then again, they can just watch the stream to get the viewing. <laughs> okay. Okay, those two are up to something. Let's see. I do think all of my gear should be good for this. If not, then well, I've got plenty of spare upstairs. I can just grab and run down with. Hmm. Yeah, for the dragon, I probably should make. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's arrows in my storage. Uh, past the uh, past the library block, there's a wall covered with uh, what looks like book stands. Yeah, in one of the lower ones should be filled with uh, arrows. No, hello. Oh, now you notice them. There, extra luck. Oops, six of blocks. Okay, and that gave 14. <laughs> nice. Oh, so you should uh, probably cover that out. There. I 
also, I still have this. This is going to last forever. I, I really don't know if it is, that's from killing that boss, the dead king, or if something just freaking glitched or something. I'm putting these away. Villager plushie, really? Western Bridal. Emerald Butterfly Flag? Okay. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Not the time for that. Okay. No, I do not count as a Wither Skull. <laughs> okay. Uh, I should keep this on the hand with the heal spell. There. Probably best to amplify it as well. Yep. Uh, I've got two, actually. Or technically three. Uh, fortify. Also useful for a bit of extra health. Uh, then I have just heal from this. Blessing of life to heal another. Also, let's summon a Vex. Uh, oak skin for damage reduction. Let's see. Probably a good idea if I keep both forms of healing active. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Saskar... <coughs> Suskar wondered uh, what they here for them. Uh, for the fun of it. Plus, we don't know how this <laughs> this can always go wrong. But yeah, ready? Uh. <laughs> and now Shaskor is picking a fight with the Vex. Okay. I can't kill them, because they count as a friendly to me. Oh yeah. Uh... <laughs> Actually, best way to know if you are ready or not is by throwing you the skull. Right, it, it counts as a multi-block thing, so if there's anything in the way, that can screw with it. Okay. Summon the Wither. Yeah, it's still building up. Oops. Oh, wait. Skin. The winner effect makes it a bit hard to see. How? Up oh, there we go. How much my health is? There we go. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> Just threat of undying. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the they make a big Smith. boom. I've got a I've got smithing templates. But aren't they supposed to drop like a star or something? Or did you grab that Shaskor? Okay, I, I'd forgotten that the, the Wither dies with a big boom at the end. Uh, yeah, you got the star. They have it. 
And yes, those are netherite doors. You can find those in the dungeons and break them. But you can't smelt them. Let's see. <laughs> One nether star. Uh, oh, <laughs> that, wait. Okay, so... Hmm, I, I didn't know that, that if you die to withering, you blow... Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, now that we have a nether star... It, Wing skin slot unlock. Okay. That's oh no, oh, that's for that's that's for this. Okay, didn't know that was a thing. Uh yeah, now that I have uh, this I can make the best magic book here. The Archmage spell book. So I will be an actual archmage. <laughs> uh, Everlasting upgrade as well. Inception upgrade makes it possible to put backpacks into the backpack. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'll probably go fight a few more Ridders some other time. Just to get those upgrades and such. But yeah, that that, that went pretty well for our first attempt. Yeah, the uh, unexpected uh, f finale of it. Yeah. Let's see. This probably Kukun, had you not had that uh, thing on you of yeah, that, uh, undying, that would, have been a, that would have been a death. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, mana region two. Nothing on that. Yeah, yeah. So these mo these are mostly more generic stuff. But yeah, I'll probably make a battle mage armor that is just uh, for combat. Though, hmm, it would be a little bit risky, I think, because we it doesn't get tier three until it's upgraded to uh, tier three thread spots until it's upgraded to level three. Let's see, two threes on these, threes on that. But none here. Okay, so I might... Hmm, I might need to go for an Iron set or an Arcanist set first. Also, maybe I should move these to the Guild Hall to, as advertising. <laughs> hmm. How much class do I still have? A decent bit. I could basically just put these in a wall. Okay. Um, let's see. What else is there to really do? Uh, I guess we, I guess I, we could go hunt for more wither skulls to get kill uh, wither skeleton skulls. Um. There's also the widen camera thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, we need to get we need to kill that thing also. That should not be as much trouble. Uh, let's see, for that we need a Walden Horn, Spike, and a Wing. And then we just need some parts for the Ritual itself, I think. Uh, let me see. So, should Walden... we thank uh, Sasuke for helping us? Uh, yeah, uh, Sasuke, you want anything... Uh... <laughs> You want anything as a payment for helping? I can make some magic equipment for you. Now, now I've got the dumb idea of making like a... a I, b I believe in Create you can make like a whistling... Uh, like an, a church organ or such. And just making, a <laughs> making one not here, of course. That's just uh, controlled through these uh, things. You just go look between them and play a song. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ritual of Summon Walden. Lapis. Vexing. Okay. Uh, Vex. Lapis. Okay. And uh, then it's just... Throwing these in there and there. Okay, that's the tablet. 
Then I need... Yep. Ritual. Okay. I may as well just dump off the stuff that I have here. What are these? Ah, oh, that's... Wait, are those... Okay, I th I thought these were modded, but no. No. Huh. Oh, no, yeah, they... they... My uh, Muya introduced the while back uh, to give uh, armors more different cosmetic uh, look. Okay. Uh, let's summon the Chimera out here. Uh, I have a bunch of those. Uh, what would you need them for? Let's see. I have 13 Abjuration Essence at the moment. But I can always make more. And for the horns and such, uh, let me get rid of this. Let's see. Okay, back to editing. Yeah, that's Tatum. Hmm. Uh, let's see. This is the one with abjuration, I believe. Yep. There's. Okay. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Brewing. Okay, so you can make potions of strength out of these. And with these, we can make water breathing. Okay. I can I can give you a good supply of those. What is abjuration used for in this? For making awkward potions. Can't you just make those with... Uh, yeah, nether warts. Or is there something more that can be made with them? Not that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I could set up a set. I could set up a thing for you. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I could set up a thing for you that would automate the creation of uh, abjuration uh, essences for the. Uh, <clears throat> For the book, okay. For the horns and such, I could make a portal from your place uh, to, <clears throat> to any of the uh, dens. Okay, can skip abjuration. Yeah, nether ward would be easier for that. Um, I can give you a kickstart on that, I think. A good reward um, for eating us. In this planet. Okay. Uh, for the moment, then. Let's see. Do I still have the. Must have put it away. I keep putting stuff away and forgetting where I put it. There. Uh, where is it? Did I put all of the soul sand into the sorting system? If I did, it's been sorted now. Hmm. Oh, well. For the moment, then, let's just drop off some nether warts. Yeah, okay. Wait, how, how can you have been hyping it up for three episodes if it's only the second one? <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, at some later point you can get some free armor upgrades then or something. Uh, they won't stream us edit. Yeah, okay. There. Okay, let's skip the knights. <clears throat> but yeah. Um. 
<clears throat> we can get the uh, Chimera, finish that off, make the uh, the make the Archmage uh, totem, not totem, not to the yeah, spell book. That's the threat of undying active again. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, put that back on the heal spell. I probably should just make another mirror that's just this spell and heal. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's Pretty taking great. a bit. There we go. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, they really made that damn damn thing. There's a thousand health. It's it's stronger than the weirder, ain't it? Being slow though. Could be maybe a bit of server lag or something, or maybe it just doesn't know what to do now that it's on fire. Might be slow to begin with. It is big after all. Yeah. It seems to have the head of a stalker, the general body of a hunter. But uh, yeah, the fur and such of a guardian. And yeah, I'm trying not to swing too wildly. So I can actually use the spell that's inscribed on my sword. Ooh. Okay, now it's going airborne. <laughs> not too bad for it that I can also fly. Maybe you need some more offensive spells. You're make... a wizard of all. Yeah, I can make some of the the other spell books that I found into more utility stuff. Okay. Yeah, you need utility book and well, battle book or battle tome or whatever you would call it. up to I think it's up uh, okay now it went more guardian at uh, holy uh, okay it seems to be immune at the moment and those slow yeah, down this, this is a more interesting fight than the uh, wither this may also help Something. Ew. That hurt a lot. Oh, it's yeah. so many wildens. It brought in its. It saw me bringing reinforcement and thought I can do that too. It got a fish tail. Yep. Yeah, may maybe this is the one we should have asked the others uh, for help. Yeah, we can we can challenge the others to fight this thing at some other point. Just build an arena. There we go. 
And that's the Walden Tributes. Okay. Is there anything else that I can use that for? Oh, focus of summoning? And reactive four. Okay, what does reactive even do? Let's see, I've been finding things of that, but... Uh, uh, wait. Okay, it's not even... What? It's not even showing up as a thing here? Okay. Guess it's not worth it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the Walden Chimera. <laughs> and it, it said that it would destroy blocks around the summoning, but apparently it didn't do that. So, uh, yeah, I could just build an arena to <laughs> see how anyone, how everyone else fares against that thing. And it's not terrible. Nope. I think. Could maybe try to lock it up, but it'll probably despawn after a long enough time then. Uh, let's see. Oh, breakthroughs. Totem of Undying. I'm pretty sure I had the second one somewhere. But of course, I need to find it amongst everything. There. Okay. Then three Ender Pearls, two Emeralds, and of course the spell book. Okay, uh, one, two, three. Emeralds, okay. And the last ingredient. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. And there we go. Officially an Arts Mage. Um, yes, it's me. Okay, um, Rob, uh, I think, I think they, he fell off the table again. Oh, share, sure, I mean. Somebody pick um, me up. Uh, did, did, need help up there? Uh, down there, I mean? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just gonna lay down here for the day. Uh, let me see. Properties. Wait, that, that... Okay, that should be working. Why is it not... Oh, wait. Okay, why? Oh. I get down there from there. Okay, apparently the thing that has been going on with this is that it's been it's been hiding you off screen apparently for some stupid reason. Okay, uh, it, no, not rotate. <laughs> no need to tilt our friends. Okay, there. Can't. There we go, just scoot you along. Okay, that should hopefully fix that on every scene. Okay, duck down a bit. Um, okay. Feel uh, better, Rob? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, <laughs> um, you just missed us taking on a, a boss for the... Uh, Arch Nouveau mod. And now we've got an Archmate spell book. Uh, actually, that reminds me. Controls, keybinds, mm -hmm. category, Ars Nouveau. Uh, let's see. Toggle selection, open book. Let's see. Is this the one? No. There is a button for... Oh, there is... Uh, Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, that only works when I have it selected. Okay, yeah. This will make it a lot easier to switch between the spells. <laughs> okay. And it even works in the offhand. Oh, nice. And I just okay. realized something, Captain. Oh. Look at Rome and where my axe is. <laughs> yeah, just don't, <laughs> don't waggle that thing around. Oh, I won't. I won't. Okay. Why do you have an axe now? Yeah, because he wanted one for the Battle for Middle Earth once, and he hasn't let go of them since. I like it! <laughs> I have more reason to have it now after what uh, Tatum tried to do. What did Tatum try to do? They tried kidnap to kidnap me! <laughs> 
Okay. Let's see. What do all of these do? Causes multiple projectiles to be cast at once. Each projectile applies a set of effects. Teleports the caster to a location. If an entity is hit and the caster is holding a warp scroll in the offhand, the entity will be warped to the location on the warp scroll. Okay, so this would be really good for just getting mobs into a pen. And why? Why is the dog just spinning to win on the anvil? You spin me right round, maybe right. Oh round. no! <laughs> Spell turrets and runes can warp entities using warp scrolls from adjacent uh, uh, the inventories without consuming the scroll. Okay, so that means with that we could set up a well, just a minefield of teleportation uh, some runes all over the place. Sounds concerning. Okay. Uh, what other ones do we have here? We have bursts. Resolve the spell in a spherical area around a target. Augment with sensitive to target blocks instead of entities and dampen to make an empty sphere. Augment with AoE to... Okay. So, wait. If I put that on the end of a spell with, uh, like, flare or such. Would that basically mean that it just gives an AoE flare? Maybe. Fangs. Summons the Roker Fangs in the direction where the spell was targeted. Using Fangs on yourself will spawn them in an area around you. Okay, requires a totem while dying. Glide effects. Okay. But it would require an elytra. We aren't going to the end just yet. Applies the hex effect. Increases any damage taken by a small amount while the user is afflicted with, by poison, wither, fire, or when frozen. Additionally, Hex cuts the rate of mana regeneration and healing in half. Okay. Intangible. Causes blocks to temporarily turn into air. Can be modified for blocks of higher hardness. A redirection down in extent time. Okay. Lightning, <laughs> I think that speaks for itself. Summons a lightning bolt at the location. Entity struck will be given the shocked effect. Shock causes all additional lightning damage to deal bonus damage and increases the level of shocked up to three. Lightning also deals bonus damage to entities that are wet or wearing RF powered items. <laughs> okay. It reminds me, I learned something on Valheim. A pendle does a thing. If you fight a, f a mob that's wet from swimming, they take more lightning and frost damage. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, I just didn't know there was a thing. Uh, let's see. Linger creates a lingering field that applies spells on nearby entities for a short time. Applying sensitive will make the uh, spell target blocks instead. Here we... Th that could probably be used for like a... Uh breaking sand into other stuff or smelting sand around that could be interesting uh orbits summons three orbiting projectiles around the target that will cast a spell on any entity it may hit additional projectiles their speed radius and duration may be augmented okay summon dummy or decoy Summon Undead. Summons a number of skeleton allies that will attack nearby hostile enemies. These skeletons last a short time until they begin to take damage. But time may be expended yeah, with extend time. Additionally, their summoned weapons are changed using augments. Using Amplify will give it a better sword or Pierce to give it a bow. Adding Split after the effect will add to the number of summoned skeletons. Okay. Let's see if the skulls that I've got are within range of that. Okay, so the other way of skulls I had are not nearby. It's Enderman head. Let's just where did I leave the blast of things? Because I, I could just summon <laughs> if I can find those heads, I can just basically summon a horde of skeletons. Hmm. Now what would be better? Just a bunch of skeletons with better swords or a bunch of skeletons with uh <clears throat> With bows. Good question. 
there. I guess it depends on the situation, really. Hmm. I'm thinking bows would probably work better because they'll try to keep a distance so they'll uh, stay alive longer to deal more damage, hopefully. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hmm. Summon Vex. Speaks for itself. Summon three Vex allies that will attack nearby hostile enemies. Uh, last a short duration until it begins to take damage. Wall creates a lingering wall that applies spells on nearby entities. Oh, pardon. For a short time. Applying sensitive will make it target blocks. It will expand the effective range. Accelerate will cast spells faster. Dampen will ignore gravity. Okay. Extend time will increase the duration. And then Wither applies the Wither debuff. I don't know exactly what Wither specifically does as a debuff. It just seems to be just a differently colored poison. Hmm. I think I heard what it does, but I've forgotten what. Yeah, your mic again, that... Ram? Yep. Okay. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Okay, definitely going to need to look further for those blasted Wither Skulls. I'm pretty sure it was two of them. Hmm. And now I wonder if I managed to trap like a, a Wither Skeleton up in my farm, will that actually harvest it for its materials as well? Uh... Your spray doesn't attack the others. Good point with that, yeah. Uh, let's see. Alright, Arcane Anvil can be used to put, <clears throat> to put scrolls of the same level together, I believe. Uh, definitely, yeah, I, I'm going to need a, a section of wall just for these scrolls. Um, may as well put it here next to the armors for the moment. And I can also sort them by type. So, there. And then, a stack of these. Okay. Two, three, four, and five. More than I need, but always more, better to have more for later. There. I'll keep those on myself. There and there. Okay. Now that all of the scrolls. Did you tame the wolves? No, they're just on a very long cast. I... Oh, you summoned them. Hmm. I can't remember oh, now if I them? actually tamed some wolves or was. I think that was on the single player. Yeah, and I, I, I wonder if were the wolves to survive the boss fight. <laughs> well, I did summon them part way in. Yeah, I was wondering how if they became tamed after the fight or something. But alright, if you spawn them with a summon I missed, alright, they will explain it. Yeah, it also says on their name, Summoned Wolf. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, for the next, for the next time I would build something like this, I'll probably go for more of a circular design. With this, instead of just having it like a single, well, what would you call that? Like a s collection of bookcases or such? Yeah, I guess. And yeah, just have hollow walls so that the <clears throat> so that the starbuncles can run around in the back to fill everything in. Uh, that's a mighty. <laughs> Okay. Do not want to show what else to do. 
And let's keep sorting these for the moment. Maybe see if there's any good ones to use amongst them. All of these fire ones. So many freaking fire spells. Nature I'm spells. Concerned. Holy. Blood. Do, and actually, cold. Are you allowed to use heal? Uh, these spells? Uh, yeah. I. But I'm just not... Uh, I'm since that since it's also my uh, it's one of the magic mods, so I can be the only one who makes like the spell books and such. But yeah, with everything else, what you find, na what you just find around the world, like if uh, Tatum were to find one of uh, these blaze instruction manuals, they would be able to use that and inscribe spells in it to to use it. All right, I'm also, if I recall, someone was it had the rule of cleric. And don't think so. Maybe I'm misremembering. Okay, we need two more of these. Um. And there go the wolves. We really need to get some better scones for those fires, for the coded ones blend way too much with the wall. Actually, wouldn't it be, be smarter to put these closer to here? That don't really have the space for them without getting cluttered with all of this. You know what? There, there. I just realized yeah. you, you could just put them around your uh, enchanting table. There. Actually, yeah, why not put them around the enchanting table? I want them more closer to the equipment where I can actually, well, put them together and such. Okay. No need for luck on this. There. Okay. There. Okay. Let me just pick these up. Come on. I should be able to pick them up. Oh well. Then I'll just do it the manual way. One. There. And then I just move them over. Go. And that's one block for each of these types without taking too much space. Okay. Hmm. I still need to check if the Starbuncles can actually reach these upper ones here. Hmm. Wrong item. This one. Hmm. Oh, wait, but okay. Who removed? The, who removed? Uh, 
the, uh, okay, come on. Who removed this, these scrolls? Because that's why these are empty. The Starbucks ones have been putting everything in places where they aren't supposed to. Yeah, I found it odd that they were had sorted everything, even though there's a bunch of gems and such in these. Okay. Who, yeah, that's the only ones I know we had. Yeah, only one I think it was over there. Uh, I know I saw Sashko go there a lot of times, but I'm sure that was them. We did also have Tatum, but mm. yeah, those are the only two I think has been at the base that I'm aware of, but I'm not sure if them to begin with. Maybe something else accidentally destroyed them or something, but is it still going to be a nuisance to sort now? I'm looking if I can see if they put picked up this this mimic scrolls and put them somewhere. Mm. Okay, it can't be because I put this down, because there's a one over here with that. So yeah, something accidentally broke all of these. Something or someone. I just hope it's not someone. For... Yes. This is a bit mean. Let me see. I'm not seeing the Mimic Scrolls anywhere. Not that they are expensive to make or such. It'll be more just a nuisance of having to make them all again. Taking that back. Taking that back. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Hmm. It's a nuisance. Nothing stored in these. Let's see. Anything connecting to here that's gotten them? No. Okay. I would make more of the... I would make more uh, inventories that are linked to here, but apparently these guys can cause quite a bit of lag if there's a bunch of them. So I should keep that uh <clears throat> I should keep that in check for the most part. Okay. Oh wait, this already has some spells on it. Blood slash, blood step, ray of siphoning, and blaze storm. Okay, what's that? Yep. Just fire yourself a bunch of blaze heads. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Blood step is teleport, ray of siphoning. Not enough mana. Okay, I probably should make a set for iron spells at some point as well. Moment of stutter. Hmm. This is a spell scroll. But, yeah, I'll sort all of this out off stream because, you know, <laughs> it would be even more boring to watch than anything else. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Maybe I need to make this bigger or something. I just mm. don't see what may have broken all of these. I'll th I think I'll see you guys later. Okay. All right. See ya. See ya. Is have a good night. You guys too. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a good a spot as any to end the stream because, well, I've got a lot of busy work to do with this. Oh, yeah, to any of you, to if either of you celebrated, happy Happy Mother's Day and all that. Yeah, Happy uh, Mother's Day. I don't think that that's yet for us. Well, it is for me. It's May 12. I'm going to check my calendar. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, no way they could be there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's not yet for in Sweden. There is a few more weeks until then here. Well, good luck with it. Well, good luck, anyways. <laughs> okay. Have a good night, everybody. See ya. See ya. See ya.
And yeah, we may as well go look for someone to raid before I just need to <laughs> clean everything up. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Twitch. Change over the screen share so Drakir can see as well. And let's see. We have not too many people online at the moment. Okay. We've got I'm Nice, who is playing Baldur's Gate 3 with our first playthrough. Swalbe is playing Tales of Mage Ejal. Not a clue how, to suppose, how you're supposed to say that. Let me double check that everything is muted. Yes. Skeleton Arcane Blade. Okay. Uh, Moonrise is playing Jackbox. Then we have Hisaya Rosir who is playing Rabbit and Steel. Okay. Never heard of that before. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf who is having their psychology open house. Okay. Uh, it's Tales of my, the my Ajal, whoever you're supposed to pronounce it. So it looks like a top-down manager thing or something. Maybe a bit like... Oh, that's a bunch of top-down RPG, I'm guessing. Um, just looking at a spell book or something at the moment, so I can't tell it all. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Any of those sound of interest? Or shall I take a pick? Let's also take a peek at Hisaya with this rabbit and steel, whatever this is supposed to be. Okay. Mm, it has been a while with the Hisaya, but it's also been a while with Swobble, hasn't it? Uh, yeah. Let me see. Just to check out some recommendeds, we have someone playing Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Someone with The Sims. Someone with Little Kitty Big City. Animal Well. Conquers Bad Fur Day. Okay. And someone playing Tabletop RPGs. Hmm. Uh, let's go see more about this Tales of the however you're supposed to say it. So, copy name. Then we head to our place. Okay, slash, raid, and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Tatum. Thank you, Vida. Thank you, uh, Random Marco. And Shaskor. And, well, everyone else on the server as well. And, yeah, also thank you, Rom. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining on both on the server and on uh, the stream. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Maybe multiplayer tomorrow. We'll have to see how things go. Uh, we'll be starting with the Lost Borderlands 1 DLC. <clears throat> Claptrap's uh, Robot Revolution. I think it was a bit more to the title, but I'm forgetting. But, uh, yeah. But on... <clears throat> on Tuesday and Thursday, we will be continuing with the Battle for Middle Earth with the Eagle campaign. So we'll see how that goes. Yay! But for now, let's get that way started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Have a lovely weekend. And watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and just the Chimera. <laughs> the Weldon Chimera and all the other beasties in Minecraft. Hehehehehehehe <laughs>